How much trouble does short-term thinking get Filipinos into? Um, somebody sent me a video a while back, and the reason I didn't post it is because there's children in the video. Um, basically, this American guy is married to this Filipina. She is pregnant with another man's child, and she refuses to leave the house because obviously she's got no money, got no... Um, ability to stand on her own two feet but was quite happy to take her underwear off so to get an injection off some other guy of another child um that is a prime example of when people um think short term the guy that stole the money when i asked him to get some med boxes is an exact um a, a, another good example he had three and a half thousand pesos in salary to collect but instead stole two thousand pesos worth of egg boxes um well he stole the money he didn't actually get the egg boxes that was the point but he had that in his hand he had to wait i think it was that was on the wednesday so he had two days to go until he got his three and a half thousand but obviously it turned up to work it had been higher than two and a half thousand because he had another two days work to do or three days three days work to do um because it was on the Wednesday, so he still had the Wednesday night shift. Uh, so he had three days work left, but we already have three and a half thousand pesos he had earned. But instead, he stole the two thousand. That's a madness. Um, a lot of the stuff does not have anything logical to it. Now, why would the woman having an affair with a husband that's providing everything for her? Um, well, while she's married to somebody providing forever uh short term thinking hasn't even thought about the consequences of doing something stupid but now that she did it she's now expecting the guy that has not only found out his wife's had an affair but is now pregnant with the other guy's child to sit there and take it um no and quite simply i agree with the guy he's just thrown her out in the street um it's difficult when the kids are involved, I have to admit that, but I don't even know if the kids are yours or not, so I can't really comment on that. If it was my children, I would have the children stay if they want, but I would certainly throw her out in the street where she belongs. Um, I'm blunt like that, I'm, I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm probably more brutal than a lot of other people, but one thing I don't like is affairs. Um... <laughs> I uh, it it's a foundation thing for me. In the West where the video earlier I was talking about the fifty percent of relationship failures, blah blah blah. Affairs is pretty high on that list and people that have affairs will continue to do them. Um so from that perspective you have to take it from the viewpoint that it's unacceptable. Simple as that. Um so yeah. But that's short term thinking. You also get the same in business because I've seen people put things forward where they've got a very good business idea and they think it's a foreigner, we'll overcharge them. Now, they don't think that's a foreigner, he already knows how much he should be paying and this is the actual rate and we're actually still making a good profit anyway. They just go way over the top and then the guy's like, get lost and I don't want to talk to you again. They've already lost it, and they, they assume they can walk back in there with another price, and it's, it's too late, it's done. See, in the Philippines, uh, I know, I mean, in Spain here myself, my wife gets a better rate on buying food from the market because she speaks speaks the Spanish language, etc., so she doesn't get the uh, tourist rate. But the bartering thing is quite normal uh, in Asia and Spain, etc., so... Often they assume they can just do it and then you go, no, and then you might come back. But from a Western perspective, you're like, you just treat me like an idiot. You try, you've gone way over the top. You're not even in the same ballpark. Um, and that, that's where the issue is. Because exa an example of this is we, I put a project together for somebody. This is how much it's going to cost them to do it. And at that, they're getting a wage and everybody's getting paid, etc. But if we go 23% above it, they might actually make a very good income. So they might actually go in at 18% because they know they could probably squeeze 18%. But they will not go in at 70% above the market rate because they know 
quite simply, they would never get another contract with that company ever again. And that's the difference. So yeah, a lot of short-term thinking does a lot of damage. Um, what experiences have you had? There, there's a question. What experience have you had where short-term thinking has actually created an absolute nightmare? Right. Thanks for watching.